disclaimer, I am going to discuss a woman's menstrual cycle. I'm going to discuss alternative menstrual products. So if this type of topic is not okay with you to listen to, I'm just letting you know up front before I get into it. Okay guys, so it is time for a full in-depth explanation of the ILPs. ILP stands for interlabial pads, and that is what you're looking at right now in the camera. There's lots of controversy over these, so I thought that I would discuss exactly what they are, how they're used, and what the purpose of them is. So if you'd like to learn more about interlabial pads, please watch this video because I'm gonna take this opportunity to educate you on the different types, the different sizes and styles, mainly the ones that I'm going to offer in my shop because there are many different kinds and types all over Etsy or other platforms and mine are very specific. There are certain ones that I offer and so today I'm gonna to discuss those with you. So I did not invent the ILPs. ILPs have been around for many, many years. There are lots of makers and sellers on Etsy and many women use the ILPs. They are also recommended by doctors for specific reasons such as chronic discharge, incontinence, or even heavy or light flow depending on how you want to use them. Okay, so interlabial pads are exactly what the title of them sounds like. They are to be placed between the labia because they are interlabial pads. <music> interlabial pads are often paired with other alternative menstrual products such as the cloth pad. Most of the time, if you use a cloth pad, you do um, have some knowledge about interlabial pads and how they can benefit your use of using cloth pads. Lots of women and people who use cloth pads can also use the interlabial pad in conjunction. But you do not have to use them with a cloth pad at all. They can be used by themselves or they can be used with just a tampon or a cup, a menstrual cup, or you can even use them just as a backup in case you are having discharge or a light flow and you don't need a, a tampon or a pad or even a cup at the time. And all you need is just a little bit of something to catch that extra flow. This is also a very good alternative for light urinary incontinence. These are perfect for those moments where you're afraid that you're going to leak a little bit. If you want to use tampons or disposable pads, these are perfect and great for those too. You don't just have to use them with cloth pads. You can use them with any menstrual product that you'd like, or you don't have to use them at all. It's just an extra alternative backup piece. <music> labial pads are mostly found in this particular shape where they're curved on the sides sometimes they are just rounded all the way around with one point here but this is the basic shape that you're going to find your interlabial pads just like this now many other shops offer interlabial pads in different sizes there there can be little bitty ones all the way up to ones even bigger than this I only offer the one size that you see here, and it is about four and a half inches long and about an inch and a half, or let's see, about two inches wide. Two inches wide and four and a half inches long. This is the only size that you will find in my shop. And I also want to discuss the different fabrics that I use. Um, as you can see here, there are many different colors. The ones that you see in the color are 100% cotton. Now these also have some stretch to them so that way you can conform them to fit however you'd like, but these are just a cotton fabric. The other one that I offer is a dye-free natural organic bamboo terry. This one is offered specifically for those of you that are worried about dyes in your fabric and you're still wanting something that's very absorbent very natural and organic that's going to do the job, but with no dyes. This one here is um, can be like sprayed with stain remover or um, bleached and the any stains will come right out because it's pure white. And then the last style that I offer is the Bamboo Zorb. 
This is a very specific dimple pattern fabric that was designed specifically for menstrual products and baby diapers. This is super absorbent. It's infused with antimicrobial ions, <clears throat> silver ions, that will help get rid of any bacteria faster. And it's just highly, highly absorbent. Now other shops will offer minky or flannel or cotton wovens or other absorbent fabrics like that, but my shop only offers the Zorb, which is the antimicrobial silver infused ions, the dye-free organic bamboo terry, and then the cotton, which these will come in several different colors. And each set that you can purchase will come in a pack of six. So you'll get, when you purchase one of these, you will get a set of six. <music> pads are really great if you have a super gushy flow because what this is going to do is this is going to add a little bit of extra protection and and it will center your flow in the middle of the pad and protect it just a little bit longer so you can wear your cloth pad or disposable pad a little bit longer so if your flow is very fast and it's just gushing out fast and it just automatically slides off the edges of your pad really quickly, this will help to center your flow into the middle of your pad like this. So that way it just flows down the center instead of just right off the edges. If you were to insert, and I will show you guys the folds here in just a minute, if you were to insert the ILP this way, and you are a super heavy flow that comes straight down the center of your pad and you have all of this excess pad here that's not being used because your flow is just straight in the middle when you insert the ilp this way and, and when i say insert i i don't mean stick it in there i mean to just lay it to where it's just right there directing your flow this will help spread that flow this way onto your pad so that way you're not just using up the entire middle part of your pad and you have this whole pad still left to be able to use that way this right here will direct all of that flow onto the edges of your pad and then you can use this pad much longer <music> different folds okay so the basic fold um, to keep you feeling dry if you are new to using cloth pads or if you are worried about your your pad feeling wet against your skin the basic fold would just be to fold it in half longwise this way and just kind of insert it right here between the labia this fold in particular will help keep you feeling dry and sitting between the labia like this and on the pad like this will just help keep your flow centered and flowing in a nice even direction. Another popular fold would be to fold this top portion down here and then fold it in half again. This creates a little bit of extra padding here and then insert it between the labia like this. Another, another way to do this is you can actually roll it just like this and then just tuck it between the labia like so. There is no wrong way to do this. You can do this however you feel works best for you. It's so versatile and can be used in so many different ways. And there, there's not going to be one right way or one wrong way. You just have to figure out how it fits best for you and how it feels most comfortable. You can also use this just to lay it right here on your pad and you don't have to tuck it anywhere and it just lays right on top. This just provides an extra protection layer and an extra flow layer. <music> probably the most important part and that is to when you are wearing one of these interlabial pads and it's time to go to the restroom you cannot forget that you're wearing one of these because yes once you've pulled down your pants to sit down it will fall out directly into the toilet so 
the the most important thing for you to do is to take this out before you sit down. Let's talk about how you are going to wash your ILPs. If you use cloth pads already, you can just wash them directly with your cloth pads all together at the same time. And after I've used my cloth pads or my ILPs, I store everything in the bag and then at the end of my period, and this also zips closed so that way you don't have to worry about anything coming out. At the end of my period, I dump the whole bag into my washing machine with the bag, and then I do my cloth pad wash routine. And that is going to be in another video. So if you're wondering how to wash your cloth pads, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you ask your questions below in the comments and tell me your questions about how to wash cloth pads and I will answer those for sure. But this is the way you're going to store them after you've used them and then you can wash them all together at the end. If you don't use cloth pads, but you do want to use the ILPs, the way you can wash these is you can get one of these menstrual bags and just store your ILPs in the menstrual bag or you can just keep a little uh, a, a bag like a mesh laundry bag or even a bucket that has a lid next to your toilet with a little bit of Dawn liquid and some warm sudsy water and you can just keep them in there just dump them in there and keep the lid on it and then at the end of your time of using your ILPs um, just wash them all together either with a load of towels or you can hand wash them in the sink you can use just Dawn dishwashing liquid that seems to work really really well or you can just wash them in the washing machine just like this by themselves. There is no wrong way to wash your cloth pads or your ILPs. Just wash them the way you think will work best for you. Some people even boil them on the stove with hot boiling water. Now I will go more into washing later, but that's what I wanted to discuss about how to wash your ILPs. I want to address the topic of using a piece of fabric like this between your legs when you are having your flow or at any other time that you want to use one. I need you to understand that these are not to be inserted directly into that spot down there. These are supposed to stay on the outside and just tucked between the labia, okay? That's all we're doing is tucking it to the outside and when you stand up, it's going to stay put and help you with your flow or incontinence or your discharge. It's not to me meant to be inserted at all. So if you haven't used these before and it's your first time trying them out, at first they are going to feel a little bit unusual down there. They are going to feel a little bulky, but over time as you get better at using them, as you realize their purpose and how they help you, you will get used to it and you will start to feel how they work best for you. And you may find out that you don't like them at all. But um, just keep in mind that they are a new foreign object down there and it's going to take some time to get used to them.